Now in the description of this video, you should also find Asobo B seven four seven eight I Adi template dot zip. This is a template that I've made for you to create your seven four seven liveries. Right click on the zip after downloading it and click extract. Copy this into your community folder, just like this. Now open the out folder of your dev livery builds and open the model folder of your livery. Now you want to paste exactly the ones that are present in each of the model folders. There's one for AI and there's one for uh, default. So there's zero, two, four, six. So we'll just take zero, two, four, and six and paste it in. The reason this does not have all of them is because I have changed the LOD code right here to make it uh, extremely high quality for the player. But in the AI, the all models are required. Just like that so that it can go through varying levels of quality since we don't want it to lag for the user because of AI. You can now change the name up here from Adi template to something else. Same thing here, same thing across the entire livery. I have also uh, changed manifest.json right here. I've put in brackets where you can put in your stuff. Same thing with the aircraft.cfg right here description airline name they're all in brackets this is the stuff that you need to change if you change adi template and adi template ai here as well you need to change that here as well for example if i made this let's say cargo lux you need to make this cargo lux as well so that would be the aircraft.cfg these are the model folders texture folder we'll get to in just a second let's go back and then this is the content info. The manifest.json is what actually shows up in your content manager. And the thumbnail in the content manager comes from the content info part. Make sure that this name right here is the same name as the one in your community. You can of course change this as well. Change Adi template to cargo lux if you're making a cargo lux livery for example. Same thing here. Change this to cargo lux. It should be the same as the one in your community. And in here, oops, uh, that that is the yeah that is the thumbnail for the the content manager now earlier we had also saved the name tail decal animation and the reason we need this is because we basically need to put it into the model xml of both of the model folders both the ai and the regular one in the xml so that it recognizes that that decal also needs to move with the rudder so what you do is you do control f and you look for rudder and as you can see, there's a part here, this section right here, this template, a sober handling rudder, rudder template, and it has the animation name right here. What we'll do is we'll copy this template, paste it in, and make sure that the indentation is correct. So bring that back a few steps if it does do that. And then copy this name, paste it under animation name, just like that. Save this. Now I'd explained to you earlier that you needed to note down this name and i'll show you why now so open up the livery decals.psd or png whatever you have that you used for your livery basically the texture folder sorry the texture file and hit Control shift s save as dds and make your way to the texture folder of your livery and name it the name that you had noted down this one name it exactly that and hit save now here you want to make sure that texture type is color plus alpha and compression is bc7 fast srgb hit ok now for this tutorial i'll not be explaining how to install the intel dds plugin however i will link it down below and in the zip that you will download you'll also find instructions for how to install it now we have our texture right here we also need to make a DDS JSON for it. So just copy any random one and change the name of the part before JSON to the name of this file right here. Make sure you also write dot DDS. So just like that now we have our texture and we have our dot uh, DDS dot JSON. We can now update the layout dot JSON. Just like that. 
hit save, hit save, yes replace it and now we are ready to launch the same. So here we are in game now and as you can see our livery has loaded in and how about we go to uh, an airport and just some random airport so that it loads in quickly preferably in the middle of the Sahara Desert here we are now let's go to the showcase camera so the tail text has loaded in and as you can see since it's made up of a mesh there are no pixels same thing with this one right here no pixels same thing with this one right here no pixels but this one right here is made up of a texture so that it does have pixels however uh, the quality is still very good and if we go to the other side as you can see none of them are mirroring and if we go to the tail right here and press C so that we can take control of the aircraft from a uh, showcase camera as you can tell it's animating with the rudder so it does move with the rudder but since we deleted those parts on the inside it does not it kind of breaks up when uh, I move the rudder to the side so it's up to you whether you want to keep it or not but for this logo I think it would have actually looked kind of weird to have it extend like that so it's better for it to have been broken up and yeah so as you can tell this method works perfectly it's fun it's easy and it gives great results as you can see the satisfaction of zooming in and not seeing pixels is amazing so yeah now let's move on to working with the engines and how we can make this a freight delivery